Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm not saying we cracked the code, okay? All I'm saying is we did, we did a pretty good job. That last video, two ten pieces. I'll be like an Elden Eye. I'm electric, electric spy. I'm eclectic, detective, defective. Suggestive, directive, uh, you know what I'm talking about, Judas Priest? Did you hear this one? Did you hear this one, Kevin? Judas Priest. Rob Halford. I don't know much about Judas Priest. All I know is that in maybe 2008, they released Screaming for Vengeance, the entire album in Rock Band. <clears throat> I lived uh, with a bunch of roommates. One of them was really into, I guess you would call it, hard rock. And he was like, we got to get this whole album. And can I tell you, he was right. A lot of great tracks. Electric Eye, Screaming for Ven Vengeance. Um, you bring me tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk pain, but you give me pleasure. A lot of classics on that one. Fever, Bloodstone. Bloodstone's not my favorite, but you're, I know you're like, what is he talking about? <laughs> That's the thing. I don't even know. Okay. Let's get some efficacy out of our um, our baboon. We'll get it to buff the spider a little bit. It's not like a, a staggering value or anything like that, but we might as well at least get some stats out of it. And we're, we're, we know we're going to be unwinding units regardless. And if we're going to be unwinding units, then we should buff other units to take their place. This is a nasty loss. I really thought we were getting somewhere, but... Freaking bird, I, I wish, I wish. I think we should, if you're sticking around for a minute, we should buff you because it also buffs the ladybug. And you're probably sticking around for at least a second here. So let's just keep this ladybug pumping a little bit. Let's, let's become briefly equipment focused. 4-6 spider with meat. So it's like an 8-6 spider. That can last until a little later in, in what I guess I would call the early game. It's not a, a huge get. It's not insane value. That obviously makes it, like, a lot worse. Oh, no, but we're going to spit out a tutu. Oh, just call me someone who manufactures clothes for ballet because we just spit out a tutu. Um, we need a three, but I don't think a dog is what we're looking for. I do think lots of things work, work with pineapple, though. Come on, not, not interested. Both of these units are gone. <clears throat> Wasp is interesting, but I'm, I'm really fishing for a sniper, if I'm being honest. And, and this might be insanely greedy. For now, Lynx is exactly what we want. We're going to have to roll this decroted squad for like one more round, which might put us on two life. But then, then the Lynx is going to accomplish a certain je ne sais quoi, if you will. And I will. This one, we're, we're torched. I really feel like with a Lynx out there and a level three ladybug, there's something. There's something cooking. Like, you should go first. Then you go. You come out. I know you're not getting the buff. We're not going to level the spider. It's just not my tempo. Um, give me a clownfish for now. That'll take a buff. And then honestly, give the clownfish some food so it buffs our ladybug. Now, this is way out of the pocket versus what we usually run. But it's... I don't think it's guaranteed to, to lose. <laughs> It might not be a high percentage chance to win, but I don't think it's guaranteed to lose. It won this round. We, we still got two life. We got a little cushion. Now Lynx is getting buffs. We love to see that. Holy. It's getting even more buffs. Now a manatee. I'm going to snooze the manatee. I'm going to throw out a second baboon. I'm going to say thanks for everything you've done for us, spider. If you've done anything at all. And then we can get a big baboon level up with two clownfish to support it. Now our ladybug's not going to be as strong. It's definitely... I mean, it's just the honest to goodness truth, isn't it? And yet... Oh, that, that bee almost backfired. Would you look at that? I mean, anytime we get to at least six, I'm at least not super disappointed in myself. Whether I'm thrilled, you know, that's a... It's a different story. Oh, baby, you gotta take the moose. The moose will get buffed by the baboon and also is just a great scaler in and of itself. 
Now, the, the hard part for me here is figuring out when it's okay for us to dump the ladybug. Because it is a level 3, which really helps out our level 2 links. I don't have a good answer for you as of right now. You come out. You need the chocolate. And in that case, you should probably just straight up buy the baboon. So the moose is getting a little buff. Yes, he, the, the moose is only passing back a 1-1 buff. But once the moose hits level 2, and the faster it does it, the better off you're going to be. That's when it's game on. We're, and we're still winning. This is I, I would classify this as a successful pivot now. No matter what happens from this point onward. You got to buff the moose. Get another lynx out there. Honestly, while we're here, get a baboon out here. And then, you, you I mean, again, we didn't really get a big buff from the moose there. But now we know we sell the clownfish probably. Because we're getting a great buff on our links out of our level 3 ladybug. You sell the clownfish probably. And then you replace it with a tier 6 that's going to be getting a nice buff from the baboon forever. No tier 6s. Very nice. You kind of got to go Spinosaurus just because it's really good. Bear might be better, but like the bear's not in the shop right now. So eat that. Um, freeze me? No, no, no. Don't freeze me. Place me? Freeze me? And then you can't do much worse on a roll. We actually did a little bit better. Now, the moose, we haven't been getting a ton of value out of it, but we've been winning, so I... The game is not called get the best value out of your moose. The game is called get the 10 wins by any means necessary. The math is mathing for us here. That's going to take us to seven. And now maybe we're in moose-focused territory. You freeze some sixes. I'm not too worried about this. I'd rather get some chocolate. I'm, I love that. Not, yes, okay, good enough. Not too worried about hot dogs. If I'd known this is where we were going, I probably would have stuck with the hot dog. Now let me just see if we get chocolate. I would take chocolate over the melon for now, but it's, it's not a decision I make lightly. I'll tell you, it's not a decision I make lightly. And why, why Lynx over Moose? Couple reasons. One is it's closer to, to leveling. The other one is that I think sniping is just more fun. And would you look at that? We get the eight wins. Great snipe by the Lynx before the Lion got to double his HP, so we doubled a lower amount. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much. You take a melon. Melons are still good. I, I would prefer chocolate, but they're still good. Fives and sixes get frozen. I snooze. We're stuck here, but that's okay. Honestly, just take a cookie and stick it up here, yeah, as far as I'm concerned. The moose gives a nice 5-5 five, five buff. Lynx is still popping. I think we're scaling at a pretty good level. One peacock is admittedly going to be a little nasty, but I, I look at the rest of my squad. A lot of other squads are like, you know, they're one-trick ponies right here. We got a, a squad of five units that are actually pretty solid. Thank you so much. Freeze me. Freeze me. Freeze me. You should buy me, but maybe we'll just wait until we roll two more times. And dude, look at the buffs we got out of the baboon. The baboon, you buy it at tier three. It's like whatever you get for a little while, don't even sweat it that much. It's once you get to the the tier six that it, it really... It, it earns its way. It, it earns its keep. Are you seeing this? Another 10-piece. And this one, might I add, this 10-piece? No peacock. <laughs> Never underestimate the moose, man. It has to be like that. I don't think this is good for winning, but it might be fun for drawing. And I'll be like a slippery kilt. You know what I'm talking about. This guy knows what I'm talking about. It's a draw. It's a guaranteed draw. Roxas Impersonator. <laughs> what a name. And what's in a name? 
Great question. I believe Shakespeare asked a similar question back in the day. I know, it doesn't really make sense. But I think from round three onwards, this team's going to do some damage. This team's going to annoy some people. This team's going to bother some people. This team might even offend some people. I, I, all I can promise is that if nothing else, you'll be entertained. Well, that was not even close. That one, that one hurt a great deal. But now, level me. I'll buy it just because it's a 3-4. Put a sheep in front. That might be like a, a a bit of a dream come true there. And I mean, we just need something. I was gonna put a frigate bird out there, but I'll, I'll put a spider out there instead and run dog at the back. I would much rather still have the tamarind use the trumpets to do damage than just get like one extra summon and a two-two dog. I think the positioning is fine here. Like I think the tamarind it it could do some work for us, man. The dog, maybe not so much, but the tamarind, I'm, I'm considering it. I don't think we got a big chocolate cake team. I'm just ignoring the peacock because, like, I don't know, because we can. So we don't have to take it yet. The this, this squad's accomplishing something as is. It, it's insisting upon itself. Can't imagine the dog, even on a summon team, is, like, viable in the late game here. So you're just creating, like, a, a staggering amount of trumpets. A, apparently four is now a staggering amount. Now you've got a 3-9... Stout. Big whoop. Who asked? And the dog's looking pretty strong at the back if we ever get a chance to use it. But, again, long term, I think it's minimal efficacy. But we're here, so I think we should try it. At this point, we've gotten enough 10 pieces this week, which I didn't think was going to happen, that I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with a little experimentation here. 423 Blowfish is going to ruin my life. Like, without a doubt. You got to give him some credit. He's trying. <laughs> He's doing what he can. Sure, another one. It's a very strong team. Blowfish plus Frigid Bird. Frigid Bird is kind of like a stealth, a stealth goat this week. We we kind of need a giraffe, but like it doesn't fit the current squad, so I think we're making a big mistake. You know what? With HP though, I think we can start to unwind the dog a little bit and start to work towards um basically the same run we had last time, if I'm speaking frankly. Sell me, sell me. I got nothing against the Tamarind. In fact, I, I enjoyed the Tamarind-Groundhog combo. The simple fact of the matter is at some point we're going to have to work ourselves off of that. Let's do it right now. And this is like, these are the weirdest buys, okay? I don't know what the baboon's going to buff. Maybe the sheep was the best. I'm not going to commit to a summon build just because the sheep got the 1-1 buff. Or am I? <laughs> the math please tell me the mathematics oh we were so close okay I'm hoping the baboon can just buff a tier 6 just like it did last time sure take a level while you're here this is just a really good unit you should go we have nothing to buff yet but that's just a it's just a strong unit for where we're at in the game we need a tier 4 I'm so sorry to do this. Like, I don't really know what strat I'm working with right now. I think I want you to buff a Niala, actually. We're not leveling the dog. We are leveling the dog. I have no idea. Okay, we are leveling the dog, probably. Forget about the clownfish. The dog should probably be at the back now that I think about it, because it would actually get a 2-2 buff. But This one... Has the vibe of uh, it, it's serving catastrophe vibes right now. I would say has the vibe of a round that's falling apart. Wasn't even in in the running for that one at any point. <laughs> really skeptical 
of, of this one's chances. But you know what? We're here. We got a 7-6 Nyala. That's uh, not much, but it's maybe something. My squad? What happened to my squad? Is this a joke? My whole squad is dead? No, no, no. The joke's on you, brother. You just got beat by the... What's my team name? You just got beat by the Slippery Kilts. Roll me. We need a tier five. It has to be you. Spend up to 10 trumpets and deal triple as damage to one random enemy. Goodbye, my manatee. Goodbye, my friends. You have been the one for me. Certainly feels like... I mean, I could get you to double the trumpets. I feel like you doing the damage to more than one enemy could be the difference maker. If there is to be a difference maker on this run. And I'm, I'm not sure there is. I mean, it's round nine. We're running a 3-5 Blowfish. We never planned to even exist at the at the front of the squad. My whole team is, is, is dead already. Wait a minute. We fought back. We killed their penguin. That's something. We're on lethal. Good job, uh, Nyala. I appreciate you killing their scaler. Sorry, Nurse Shark. I appreciate you killing this guy. We need Nurse Shark level. Thank you. This is so much better than the Baboon level here. We're not pivoting to... I mean, I guess we're, we are pivoting to Dragon next time. Because we need a miracle. It's also kind of good for our dog. I think there's a slim chance we draw on the back of this, like, Nurse Shark combo here. It had to hit. It's not enough. It's not even close. It's easily one of the worst rounds I've played this weekly. Just went nowhere. It had no... There was no value. There was no positivity in, in that run whatsoever. Donkey, donkey, donkey. Certainly hate this start. Certainly not a, not a huge fan of this start. Let me be like a rolling gear. Like a how does it feel? To be on your own, with no direction home, like a complete unknown, like a rolling gear. Anytime we draw round one, I'm thrilled. What do you think about going crazy mode? Peacock? I would, I would just buy a frigate bird. It's a 2-4. I would purchase it immediately, and I would not apologize for the actions I took. We got another level coming. I know we didn't get the effect of the Frigate Bird, but a 2-4 that's actually going to be a 2-8. There's some meat to go with those potatoes. My god, we got to win. Okay, now give me a Peacock. Give me Old Reliable. Give me a... I don't know. Clownfish. I think the scaling on that could go crazy. We got it early enough. Now we should run this. I think this team is set up to be statistically very good right now. Like, its attributes are going to be good. We have no scaling. We have no synergy. But just, a, you know, ask any Magic the Gathering player. A deck full of good stuff can still get you somewhere, probably. I don't know. I haven't played the game in a long time. And we're veering on a level. We're teetering on the edge of a level. One of the best kept secret in Super Auto Pets, it's a lot easier to level up your tier 1s, tier 2s, because there's less units in the game at the time those animals exist. You got more time to find them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I think trying to maximize these levels now, now while we've got a chance makes sense. I, I would dispute this loss. I'd like to rerun it, please. Garlic me. I know it's crazy. Sell me and, and purchase me and we'll figure out a better order here. Yes, please. But first, hang on. <laughs> Place me. It's a very unusual team here. But what I'm thinking is if we level into a penguin or level into a moose a little bit later, it doesn't really matter what our units do if we get a 50-50 with a lemon on it before our opponents expect to get a 50-50 with a lemon on it. This possum could be, uh, could be a stealth goat. No thank you. Although, honestly, garlic on you could do something. I would. Give me the garlic for now. 
We got a lot of levels bubbling just under the surface. Two clownfish out there. It's not, it's not set in stone that, that, that we're making bad decisions. Wins early count just as much as wins late. Give me this. Hole at first level. You know what? Here go two more for y'all. We still got levels coming, hopefully for the cone snail and the opossum any second now. We need to get a penguin or something though. It, or, or just wait it out till the moose shows up. I lived. I died. Okay, you got me. On this one, you got me. But only because you were brave enough to run two spiders. I'll give you credit for that. There's a level. You're not getting me this time. Freeze me. And you know what's the, the craziest thing of all? Chocolate comes out next round. I feel like I can wait one round for that level. Clear out the food shop, get chocolate. The, the clownfish level up will give us a, a tier six instead of a tier five. My word, that's a strong peacock. <laughs> oh, but it's not the rest of the squad is, is just hanging around this town on the corner. We need to buy something to get the level though. Um, you need this. Certainly, I, I see the value of the turkeys, but I, I feel like... Well, I've done it to myself, but... Moose me? Cone snail me? Dude, honestly, like, doesn't a lynx go insane on this team right now? Because our, our levels are all so high. Maybe we're overcommitted to this experience strat here, but... It's fun, okay? So sue me. What, it's illegal to have fun now? It's a 16-16 dog, son of a... Oh, baby! <laughs> Woo, sheesh! How about this? How about... This? I just... I respect the bear enough, man. But to get rid of a Lynx, what are we doing? We're doing 11 damage with our Lynx? It means it could be 11 damage twice if the Lynx levels up. I guess it would be 12 damage twice, but... We're, we're in a bit of a race against time. Like, level 3 Giraffe seems kind of cool. Until you realize, like... It's only buffing 3-3 three, three per turn. Like, your, your Moose beats that super quick. On the other hand... Who cares? If you're winning, Ooh, if you're winning, you're winning, brother. Now getting more spawns would matter, but that would also entail like unwinding our squad, which I don't think we can do. I think we're kind of locked in on this one. <laughs> Could probably sell our clownfish. We got lucky that their, their tiger was not set up properly with the uh, lynx, like the lynx had more attack. It happens, it happens. Takes us to eight. Again, it's a race against time. Everything looks great now, but it can it can change in a heartbeat. Take one of these. Just anything to, to give you a little bit more of an edge. We would. For round 12, I still think the squad is, is decent. There's work. Oh, that's bad. Even without the buff, that's pretty bad. We're not getting it over on you here. The, the dragon and the penguin, that's going to outclass us any day of the week. Worst part about all that is now we got to go up against round 13 teams instead of round 12. A melon on a bear, maybe. The 1-1 one, one buffs from the giraffe are looking uh, mighty anemic now. What is this double clownfish team? Every day... I was going to say we stray further from God's light, but really it's like every day I learn a new strat. I only recently found out about clownfish. Now you start hitting me with double clownfish? Very interesting. I'll freeze you. I'd rather get the bear leveled up if possible. Oh. <laughs> We're really like, this is essentially super lethal. Like it's, there's no dragon pivot coming. There's like a, we can make slight changes in our equipment and that's it. It's looking pretty bad. 
our, our bear didn't even get a chance to attack. What about two bears? For the love of God. I wanted that level up so bad, man. Maybe. This would probably be the worst team to ever get a 10-piece this weekly. But I think that it's... I don't know, I see two peacocks and now I'm scared. Or am I? We're getting a lot of attacks. What a shot! We killed their peacock! We're gonna go to 10, man! We're gonna go to 10! Never, ever underestimate level 3 cone snail and level 3 possum, okay? Under no circumstances. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!